Hello everybody, it's James here from It's Much More. Thank you very much for being with us. So in this video, I'm a little bit late to the party, as you probably already gathered by the description and the thumbnail, that I am taking a look at Xeno Crisis and Tanglewood, the dual Evercade cart, so cart number 11. So you are seeing this for the very first time that I'm seeing this as well. So I've connected the HDMI mini port and I'm going to put in the cart and fingers crossed it all works good. So let's have a look. So the cart is going in. Oh, now that looks lovely. Nice background there. So uh, Tanglewood 2018 game, 16-bit platformer. platformer. Um, and I've seen that game on the Sega Mega Drive. And also they are working on the Dreamcast port as well. I don't know if that's released or not. I got to play this on the Mega Drive at the Eurogamer Expo. It was awesome. And uh, let's have a quick look at uh, the next one. Xeno Crisis there. Wow, look at that. So, yeah, I'm going to look through Xeno Crisis first. That's also been, been released on the Mega Drive and Dreamcast, I think, as well. So let's have a quick look at the options. So I'm going to change the screen to full screen. Keep the menu sound on. I've just updated the firmware, so if you haven't done so already, you may want to update the firmware for yourself, just so you get the best out of the, the Evercade and any fixes that have been done. I'll put details below in the description on how you can update the firmware for yourself and what the uh, what the updates entail. It's always good to keep your, your Evercade updated with firmware, but uh, it's fairly straightforward. All you've got to do is download a file, drag that over to your desktop, then just follow the steps on the page, just a case of click on update firmware and then you just plug your Evercade into your, your laptop or your PC or, or whatever you're using and then from there it just should just update. Bitmap Bureau. We'll keep it as English. Oh yes. Lovely music. Look at this for graphics. I am ready to go. I want to play this. Being a big fan of Smash TV as well. It's a top-down shooter. Would be awesome with two players, but at the moment we can't have that. But uh, this is going to be great. Oh, yes. 2019 Bitmap Bureau, Bureau Limited. Let's have a look at the options like we normally do. Huh, the difficulty is already set to hard. Easy or hard. We'll keep it on hard. Audio. Yep, keep all that as it is. Controls, let's have a look what we got. A, B, roll is L, X. Okay, so I don't know where they all are on here. What have we got? X and Y. Yeah, they're on there. Oh, okay, cool. It's a grunt roll. Uh, that's actually quite awesome having the triggers. One is roll and one is grenade. This is going to be intense, I know. But I'm just, look at that. It's cool to have a nice little uh, up-to-date indie game on here from a, you know, a cool developer. Let's give it a go. First time I'm playing this, first time I'm seeing this on any platform, so I am excited to see this. So male or female, for a marine, I'll be this male guy, because he looks quite cool. Oh, that reminds me of Speedball 2. Whoa, frame rate's awesome. It's on the big TV as well. I gather it also looks lovely and crisp and clear on the handheld itself. There's one side, uh... oh, look at this. Oh, cool, so you do that like that. That's wicked. So it shoots that way. Area's clear. Any specials anywhere? Look at this graphics. Let's try a roll. I'm not going to use a grenade because I'm going to need that. I know it. Music's pumping as well. I'm out of ammo. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be tough. So I need to uh, keep hold of the ammo. So why does it want me to go... Can I go back? Is there anything in here? No. Okay, so that's cleared. Good. Having this on a handheld is absolutely incredible. You know, look at this. I can't speak any more better about it. You know? I need that ammo. So the handhelds I've had over oops, the handhelds I've had over the years have been, say, uh the PSP. Game Park 32, but this, I'm playing it on, like I say, on the TV itself, but, I can, oh damn it, I can imagine this, what, 
game over already. I can imagine this to be absolutely incredible on the screen for the Evercade. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, difficulty down a bit. Oh! Just so you can see it. But yeah, on that little Evercade screen, it's going to be wicked, isn't it? But I will have a look uh, afterwards to see how it looks on the screen. So let's be this Marine now. Let's see how she gets on. Set the difficulty to a little bit easier, just so I can actually play through a little bit more of the game. But I am going to be having a full playthrough of this, and I might even have a live stream of it as well later on, because I am impressed with the loading times, how it looks. No, I'm already in the game. That took like two seconds. If that. Oh, so I'm going a different route now. Oh, look. My ammo's running out. I've got ten left. Big money, big prizes. Can I go that way? Is that a secret? No. Whoa, is that a big boss? Let's have some of that. Whoa, watch out. I'm just trying to keep all my uh, ammunition. Here's that, that dog tag there. Just clear all the enemies on the screen before the level is clear. Room is clear. Oh, got a different way to go now. Let's go up here. Oh, look at the animation on these aliens. So awesome. Like I say, it reminds me of like speedball graphics and uh, Smash TV as well. I'll just go back to see what's around the other way. Oh, what's this? Yeah! Metal slug like, save the guy. They were just piling up around there, which is cool. Let's have a grenade then. Oh, nice. Another grenade. Keep those ammo up. Take those dog tags. So if you haven't got this game for the Evercade, or this dual set, because I'm only showing you one game for this video, and the next one I'll play uh, Tanglewood. But uh, yeah, fourteen ninety nine for a physical copy of a game that's on a handheld that can be connected to a, a TV with ease. You know, no mucking about. Just plug in a HDMI mini cable, and there you go. You're good to go, and you've got this on a nice big TV or any size TV. So I'm going to be spending most of my time playing this game now. Actually, from all the other carts that there is, this is the one that I'm going to be spending time on. You know, like I said, I'm going to try and get the Dreamcast version of this and the Mega Drive version of this as well. I am impressed. Whoa! Here we go. That looks disgusting. Have some of that. Oh my gosh. Get some grenades. This is tough. Got no grenades left. Keep that ammo pumping though. Oh, down! Damn it, game over. Now that, we'll see, look, I've got three lives down there. So I'm going to sadly not continue. Damn it, she's lost. Xeno Crisis. Xeno Crisis. So, yes, that was Xeno Crisis. This is being played on Evercade, the Evercade handheld, and it's awesome. I can't say enough praise for this game never ever played it i tried so much to not look at any screenshots any video clips or anything like that i just stayed well away from it just so i can actually experience it for the first time myself and i am so impressed so yeah if you've not got an evercade why not you need to get yourself one it is a very good handheld i've got all the carts so far I'm looking forward to the atari Lynx ones and the jellico and other bits of the other indie titles as well so yeah by all means check the Evercade out. It's uh, going to be a top seller for Christmas as well. It's already been uh, voted as, I think, in the wired list of uh, most anticipated or looking forward to Christmas gift ideas for people to get. And it is good. I mean, yeah, there people love it, people hate it, but I like it. And it's all that matters. I don't care about anybody else. It's my opinion. It's my money. I do what I want. And I like the Xeno Crisis game here. So, uh, yeah, by all means, if you like this video, click on that like button, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff. If you've got any comments as well about the Evercade and how you update the firmware and also uh, how you can get hold of the Evercade for yourself, I'll put uh, all the details and everything in the description below. You take care of yourself. All the best. Bye-bye.